my name is Villa from a band called Him, and uh, I have this odd thingy going on here. I've never done this before, so hopefully I don't mess it up royally. So you send me a bunch of questions. I haven't seen them before. I don't know how, what they're going to be all about, and uh, I'll try to answer them the best I can. So here we go. So Derek uh, is asking me, do you think your understanding of love has changed since Screamworks, her previous album, and has it manifested itself on Tears and Tape? Uh, you know, I think love keeps on changing every day, more or less. It's, uh, it's not black and white, and it's definitely more than Fifty Shades of Grey, if you read that erotic novel, uh, close to 666. So uh, my interpretation of love in general keeps on changing with each and every song, each and every day, each and every passing moment, and with every breath I take. So that's it for you, Derek. All right, the next one being from uh, Philippe. First, thank you so oh, Lord. First, thank you for so many years of badass music. Now, if you could time travel and talk to the younger you, what would you tell them? Um, it's actually a question I've been asked before, and um, I'd say to my younger self, I actually wouldn't say anything to my younger self. I just, uh, I'd be the peeping tom. I'd be laughing at myself at the. Um, at the patio of uh, Rainbow Bar and Girl and uh, laugh at the fact how badly I was behaving. But uh, I think that you have to behave badly to be understanding, you know, to be kind of like um, getting on to the next level, which is this odd level being outside here at the uh, Palladium in Hollywood. So, um, no, I was fairly happy, I think, and messed up when I was younger, so, nah. No, I wouldn't, wouldn't tell myself anything. No. Maybe buy me a beer. <laughs> That'd be cool. All right, Josh Holmes is asking, what are your favorite albums of all time? Um, regarding this band, him, uh, I think it's the first seven Black Sabbath albums, um, Bloody Kisses by Typo Negative, uh, 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 some early Paradise, lost stuff, stuff from a band called Anathema from Liverpool, a band called My Dying Bride, a band from Cathedral, a band called Electric Wizard, Monster Magnet, and uh, everything in between. That's kind of like the rock stuff. Danzig and all the satanic church burning, Norwegian stuff, you know, that's what we like. It keeps us warm during the uh, cold winters in Scandinavia. Nothing to do with religion whatsoever. All right. Connell is asking, how do you sustain yourselves mentally on long tours? Uh, at the end of the day, we kind of don't. I think the, the worst thing, is, uh, you know, touring, or the toughest thing, is try to get proper amounts of rest. I'm really bad when it comes to sleep in the tour bus, so, um, so uh, and no pills can help me. So the best thing is just to decorate the bus as much as possible with Halloween regalia, whatever, all sorts of odd gear, and make it your own little wonderland of craziness and insanity. And I think with the sense of humor and the fact that we as a band have known each other, the members of the band, we grew up together, that makes everything way easier than you know, as opposed to being in the band, which would have five ego maniacs. So, in this case, we only have one. All right, Marsha is asking, you guys have been working together for so long now, there must have been some moments you didn't share the same opinion or thoughts about a new song or an album. How do you deal with that? Well, um, I usually deal with that, making the last call when it comes to the artistic side of things, more or less. But then again, we, been, we know each other really well, and we've been playing different bands before him. So I used to be a bass player, so I used to hang out with Miggy, and we used to slap the hell out and try to be all funky and flea back in the day. But uh, we've gone through so many things that uh, I don't think there's ever been anything music-related that we're not able to deal with words. You know, everything else, you know, we get, we're having a bro down every other day, so it's gonna be us topless and beating the hell out of each other. But uh, that's only the name of good fun. Nina Ann is asking, would you ever consider to make a song with Finnish lyrics? Um, I performed some stuff in Finnish back in the day, uh, doing some uh, traditional Finnish folk songs and stuff for TV and radios and back in Finland, but uh, it's a tough language, eight singing, and then there's only like, you know, there's only a very limited amount of people who would understand what I've been singing about. So I think it's like, it's so rare to have a band like, let's say, Rammstein, who were able to do their stuff in German and still translate somehow the vibe uh, globally. So um, I think we're gonna, you know, just stick to English because um, that is the language of rock and roll at the end of the day. Daniel Culp 
in New Orleans, Villa fell in love with a painting that graced the cover of Venus Doom. What kind of art does he like? Are there other visual artists or art movements that inspire him's music? Um, yeah, like, you know, I think visuality in, in general is interesting, you know, sim symbolism and symbols and from, you know, religious stuff to artistic stuff. It doesn't really matter. I think that everybody's visual, more or less. And um, so, whether it be about watching Dexter on TV or, or going into a museum, just keeping your ears and your eyes open, I think that that's very important, no matter what you do. You know, just see new colors and new shades and uh, new inter interpretations of life in general. I think that that's interesting as opposed to having just one HR Giga. I love his alien stuff and that's all. So, um, I try to, you know, I try to get into all sorts of art, you know, whether it be visual, musical, whatever. So it all inspires everything, everything around us.